My name is Michael Trout and I want to do a talk on something I call reverse marketing. What is reverse marketing? Well, reverse marketing is a very, very, very simple way for you to make a difference. And it's simple. Any product, store, merchandise you recognize, if you have an option, you don't buy. Okay? If there's, a, there's, if there's an alternate local version, buy it. If you really must buy it, then buy it. You know, I'll give you an example. Ritz crackers. My wife loves, you know, uh, crackers. We can't get a Ritz-like cracker in Japan. So, for cheese and crackers, that is the only product that I buy from Nabis Nabisco, right? Ritz crackers. I think it's Nabisco. Um, that's probably the only product I buy, period, from one of the name brand stores. Everything else I buy pretty much local. So reverse marketing is simply identifying brands, stores, any brand. If you recognize the brand, you don't buy it. Um, you choose an alternative if you can or local. Two things like climate change. Climate change is directly responsible to every corporation who basically does not have a zero carbon emission policy. If every, you know, to give example, car industry. In 1990s, in the early 1990s, we had electric cars. But the oil and gas and other groups got together and killed the electric car because they wanted to maximize profits. Even though we knew in 1990 we needed to change the system, these private corporations who care for a few st stakeholders basically nixed it. Um, you look at fracking. Fracking is destroying basically underground water, and there's plenty of documentaries on that and probably knowledge on it. These companies don't care. They care about the profits of a few stakeholders. Um, you know, all the GMO labeling and everything else, every grocery store that's carrying a product that has high fructose corn syrup or, um, you know, sugar that you buy is basically, um, uh, 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 what are they called, um, sweet beets, right? Sweet beets, 100% is GMO. It's basically causing harm. 99% of genetically modified crops are either Roundup Ready on or BT pesticide out. I say poison on or poison out. You know, we're growing enough of these poison crops to cover France and Italy. Just two of them, corn and soy. So where's all these toxins going? So a way for you to send a message is to vote with your mouth and vote with your dollar and basically stop buying them. Buy local, buy organic. If, if, if organic is too expensive, then use that as a motivation to start what? Growing your own. You know, you buy an organic tomato, guess what? You've got seeds. You buy watermelon. You buy anything. If you're buying from a local organic, yeah, you buy expensive the first time, but what do you do? You save the seeds like I am. I have over 100 tomato plants now growing. From, from, and I haven't bought one tomato, you know, seed, right? Um, so there's so many different ways that for you to help. And reverse marketing, in, in my view, is possibly one of the most powerful things that we can do reverse marketing is to send a message because when we start attacking the bottom line of these companies, what are they going to do? They're going to change their policy. It's that simple. You know, and whether it's climate change because of carbon emissions, whether it is sweat camps, uh, child um, um, labor, right, that's going on in Asia and other places, these companies are ultimately making the world a worse place to live. They're directly responsible for the collapse of species. They're directly responsible for pretty much everything that is negative in the world comes down to these large billion dollar companies that are basically um, spending hundreds of millions of dollars for us to buy their product that ultimately is derived and developed in a way that is detrimental to society and our planet. So practice reverse marketing, share it, share this video, tell others. You know, I teach my kids reverse marketing. Um, I have fun with it, and uh, I'll do some videos and show you how I have my three-year-old and five-year-old. When they recognize a product, I associate recognizing a product like McDonald's or anything else with, in Japan, is noyaku, which is pesticide, poison. And my three-year-old gets it, right? It's that simple. Reverse marketing is such an easy thing to, to teach, and if we all do it, we can quickly send a message. If the 99% would spend more time doing reverse marketing versus sitting and occupying some park, right, which is, which is going to create a much bigger ripple, of course, 
not spending that dollar at McDonald's, not spending that dollar at Walmart, not spending that dollar at Whole Foods. If a company has GMO, poison, toxins, and other things in their store, guess what? We don't spend the dollar there. And Whole Foods, unfortunately, is such a company. So join me in practicing reverse marketing. Tell your friends, educate your friends. Hey, if you know it, don't buy it. It's that simple.